Well, hello everybody. Hello everyone. I hope that you are doing well, that you are feeling good, enjoying this beautiful day that we've been given, realizing that someone didn't make it last night, but we did. We have what we need in the course of this moment to be and do what we need to do. So I'm thankful for those things. Well, today's a little different um, post, just a little blog. Some things I just felt like talking about today. I want to start off by shouting out all my Spelman sisters and professors and all those who collectively came together to make my experience at Spelman College one of the most memorable experiences of my life very pivotal point in our, the development of who I am um, as a black woman, those things being firmly in place by the rearing that I had from my mother, my grandmothers, my aunts, to be a strong, beautiful black woman capable of doing anything I set my mind to. And to have that message and that tradition undergirded by all that Spelman is, well, is it any wonder why our list of names to receive shout outs go so far and wide. I am honored to be a part of this magnificent institution. So happy Founders Day to everyone. Uh, and in honor of Founders Day, I wanted to share with you all a piece that was inspired by Spelman and my experience at Spelman. So this particular piece it's called Undaunted. And as you all know, we remain undaunted by the fight. It finds its inspiration in our school hymn for Spelman. And I drew a lot of inspiration from that particular line. It was not always easy for me, my matriculation process through Spelman. I had to work. There were lots of things that were happening for me um, all around going after that goal of finishing up my program and being able to graduate. And thankfully God allowed me to do so. Class of 1999. So this piece, Undaunted, is an abstract rendering of a human form. Her, her neck is unusually elongated. She has a strong profile. She's looking straight ahead into her future. As is the tradition with so many African-American women, our hair is our glory, our crown. We were taught how to tie our hair at night and to protect our crown. You know, thinking about her crown and just the black woman as being royal and the queens that we are, this crown cascades off of the canvas. There is no limit to that reign, which is why that's uh, applique of that paint is intentionally done like that. You'll also notice that there are what appear to be lines. It could be an adornment as is in different cultures of uh, our experience, of our African experience. The adornment of jewelry around the arm, around the neck. But in this case, they can almost appear as scars or scratches, but our scars make us beautiful. And so they are a discussion on that. Um, she is seated uh, and she is pregnant with promise um, and full of life. And this piece um, I created in thoughts of my dear alma mater. So on this day, I'm reminiscing the first time that I came to campus and I saw Dr. Jeanette B. Cole standing at the arch. And as I would proceed in the line with our family as was tradition and is tradition, going through the arch onto campus for the first time and hearing welcome my Spellman sister. And I remember also hearing the words when we went to our first sister's convocation. Look to the left of you, look to the right of you and make sure that sister is there with you when we graduate. And this is the message and this is the upbringing and this is the culture. And some of my dearest and closest friends have been from my experiences at Spelman. So on Founders Day, I just wanted to share that particular piece with you all. 
Undaunted is owned by my sister. Um, she saw it at one of my first exhibitions and she said she had to have it. And I'm honored that the piece is with her um, because that's a further extension of my love and belief in sisterhood. And so she graciously allows me to let it tour um, to different places. And so it's been in eight feature art exhibits and um, it is one of my most popular pieces to date. Um, I've gotten quite a buzz about that and I'm grateful, um, but it does belong to Isan Harris. <laughs> um, today I'm thinking about my sisters at Spelman. I'm also thinking about the strong women who I come from. And um, I decided to do this today, y'all. So that's okra, that's peppers, that's onions, and that's shrimp. And if you know anything about low country or the Gala people, you know, that's a staple. And so as I start thinking about those generations of women who went before me, I'm grateful that I know how to go in that kitchen and connect to them, to me, to us. At any rate, happy Founders Day. Happy 142 years of excellence. May it continue to shine and rain.